Hey y'all, Gregor here. This time we're doing something a little bit different. Myself, Perry Manilow, and Nature Great Geek teamed up in this collab. We are doing a Dan Hip tier list. So there's so many Dan Hips that we have to break the first video down, just A through B. So this is us going through and ranking all of our favorite Dan Hips. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you think we're wrong. Everybody, please cancel Perry, please and thank you. Also, if you haven't, please remember to like, subscribe, Comment, do all the things so the video gets pushed out to more people. Thank you all for watching, and I will include Nick and Perry's links in the description below, so go show them some love as well. Let's get into the video. We are doing a Dan Hip tier list for all of you Dan Hip lovers out there. I got Perry and Nick the Greek Geek with me, and we are going to be going through, and we're going A through B today. Y'all ready for this? Let's get it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's go. Okay. Dope. So first up, we have Abomination. A bomb. The the man, the 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 Hulk, but not the Hulk. I, this is, I think, one of the better variants that he's done, and I think it's because he really nails doing monsters. Um, I I think he's a solid B plus, A minus. Yep, I'm with you. I think Dan Hip's best stuff is his non-human stuff, so I would go low A for A bomb, and appropriately so. A for A bomb makes sense to me, and I agree. I think Dan Hip's better stuff is better when it's non-human stuff, when it becomes like objects and things like that. Up next, we got Absorbing Man. Mr. Absorbing Man, the the bricks and the purple striped pants kind of, I don't know, It's it was one that I was really excited about when it was announced, and then I saw it in my shop and looked at it closer, and I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this one, so. I'm saying D I mean, for uh, Absorbing Man here. I think he kind of resembles a D, so I think he should probably go in the D tier, and Gregor, you can take us home on that one. I mean, his head is shaped in a very unfortunate way, and the pants aren't doing him any favors either. Yeah, no, I, it's, neither's that arm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put him in. Sorry, Absorbing Man, you are a D tier character. <laughs> uh, next up, we got everyone's favorite card in the entire game, Adam Warlock. What are you yes. thinking, Nick? The most broken card in the game with a thigh that just doesn't quit. I'm still not sure what to think about with that thigh. I, 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 I like the card, it's not bad. I think the hands and the, the, the glowing that they've got around there ain't too shabby, but it just, it doesn't scream to me. It's not one that I would jump to and pick. I think I'd probably sit with low B, maybe C. Yep, I agree. I think solid B tier, nice middle of the road card, not perfect, just fine. I, I Far think I, better variant. Yeah, I think B is right, right where he belongs. I do like the colors and I do like the pose and everything, but again, it's not one of those. Well, we'll get to the ones that are like, we're gonna hit an S tier in here, and we'll see yeah. say what an S tier is. So up next we have Arrow. What are we thinking for another, Arrow? It's one that I was also excited about, but I, there's so many good Arrow variants. It's hard to to pick this one, but it's not bad. I I like the action. I like the the you know the animation looks good on it i want it to be an a tier but i high b i think really high b close to a i i could be convinced to go to a better than warlock not as good as a bomb uh the animation is pretty solid on it when you see it animated but it's okay it is a a higher b than adam warlock okay so arrow gets moved up above Adam Warlock. I was gonna say C tier, to be honest. This one, it's, I don't know. Maybe I need to see the animation. Maybe that's what needs to sell yeah. it for me. It helps. You know what, That actually adding that in afterwards might not be a bad idea. Okay, next up we have everyone's <laughs> favorite witch who just got a new buff with the recent OTA. Yeah. Uh, we got Agatha Harkness. Ah, oh, like this is, I, I don't know if this is S tier, but it's damn close to it. If for nothing else than that cat that has seen some things, that cat, is so perfect. The cat does some heavy lifting in that one for sure. I don't know if she's S tier, but I think she's the best one we've seen so far. I'd probably put her above A bomb and maybe she can make a case for A towards the end. I think mm. she's either S or A with uh, the cat is what does it for me. That cat's yeah. Yeah. the giant all black cat with these <laughs> giant freaking moon eyes of oblivion. I love it. It's yep. Usually the Agatha that I use when I'm playing Agatha. Mm -hmm. Next That's up, we have Agent 13. A good variant. I, 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 I can't write home about it, but I think it's solid B tier. This, and I, I think I give 
these ones, because they're human and they're not bad, I think I give these ones a bit of uh, freedom when they're not bad. But the, the collar bugs me. The collar's like, as a kid, you know that's going straight in her mouth. She's going to chew on it and it's going to smell real bad. <laughs> that's such a father answer of you. <laughs> that is. It really is. <laughs> Someone who's done laundry and is like, oh, why is the collar all messed up? Are you chewing on this again? Personal story for sure. I think yeah. she's probably more of a C than a B. To me, the pose isn't very exciting. There's not a lot going on with the animation there. Very basic, in my opinion. I would give her a C. I'm also with Perry on this. This is a C tier for me. You don't see most of her face because of the collar, and I feel like that's kind of taking away from it for me. Also, I would have liked the gun to be... Like, you could have posed it so the gun was, like, right at us in front, so yep. it was more dynamic, but it's off to the side. So for me, this is a C tier. Agreed. Uh, I'm, I agree. I acquiesce completely. Next up, we have one of my favorite cards. I'm not trying to be biased here, but this one goes crazy hard in my opinion. Uh, Agent Coulson. There are two amazing Coulson variants. It's this one and the Pixel. And I got the Pixel Gold because I loved it so much. And then I got this one and I have not looked back. Like this one is great. The cap card, the gun, like this to me, if this is an S tier, this is as high A as you can get. I would say we had our first S tier. And now I have of course of a little bias because we got the little Captain America card in there, the little fandom going for Agent Coulson. He is probably one of the better looking humans that Dan Hip has drawn. I think he just works perfectly in that art style. The big old gun as the contrast to the smaller human. S tier for me. I would also like to add the backdrop. There's like clouds in the background and it's like a really heroic pose. Like this, this for me has everything. Good bit of change in color between, like contrasting between him and the background like the little fan service to the card and the gun and everything else for me is s question is that smoke coming out of the gun at the top i because i don't i don't know are those clouds or is that like did he just fire the weapon and i'm actually know, not never sure considered it i'm actually okay y'all in the chat let us know your thoughts do you think agent colson has just shot off around from the gun or if it's the background and clouds and like a sunset going on i had assumed it was a cloud but i can certainly see why nick would think that now it could definitely be he just blew blasted Loki and that gun is smoking. Right, because that's what happened in the movie, right? Right. Yeah, hmm. so maybe. He's a little well, Easter eggs. Ask Dan Hip himself. Uh, he'll watch this. He'll definitely watch this. Oh yeah, 100%. All right, next up we have everybody's favorite fart cloud, Elias. What are we thinking for the big bad fart cloud? I have never been so thankful I did not grab a spotlight variant because the second one this one showed up in my shop, I was not complete at the time. I snagged this one immediately. The coloring, the animation, everything about it. He looks like, uh, in perfect for the Halloween season right now, too, because he looks like a pumpkin. I actually think I may need to carve this as a pumpkin this year. That's oh, oh, pretty S good. Like, S tier. Easy, easy S tier. Yeah, I hate the card, but I have to agree. It is definitely a top tier variant. He's got some good ones, especially the Pandart, but outside of that, I would say... This is the second best Eliath variant and one of the best hips as well. S tier for me. Agreed. Even like the small attention to detail, the little bits of lightning coming off of him, the inner glow that he has. So you know that there's some mm -hmm. immense amount of power come up, coming off of this thing. Yeah. I absolutely agree. Okay, now is it better than Agent Coulson, though? I don't think it's better than Coulson, in my opinion. Yeah, I would say it's it's slightly under Coulson for me. Now, we decided to break these videos up like this because there are so many Dan Hip tier lists. And what we're planning on doing is taking the top tiers from every one of these tier lists and putting them together for a final tier list of all the top tiers. So that's when we'll really determine which is better than which. All right, next up, we got America Chavez. This we card star in the background is nice and and the star on her shirt is nice <laughs> I, I this one is not not my favorite to, to quote my children it's not my favorite i love that you're I, focusing on is... everything else but the actual parts of the card you're like oh those are nice my unborn children this ain't it chief. <laughs> this is a d tier this is probably the worst one so far no offense to mr hip but the pose is weird yep. her face is weird looking i just i don't know what's going on with the perspective sure star in the background cool but nah yeah this ain't it. i don't know what she's how she's doing what she's doing with her hips like her spine is rotating at a very very strange angle for this yeah. to work um yeah and i'm considering dan your, your last name is hip you gotta you gotta be able to nail the hips one of the few times that hips do lie you know I was waiting for out oh, to check the to check the timestamp, folks. Put down in the comment what timestamp this is that our first hips don't lie joke was made. Okay, we next up we have uh, Angel, and this is a very specific Angel. This is the Apocalypse uh, version. So Angel, 
Yes. That makes sense. What are you thinking, Nick? Angel's got so many good variants. I like the action on this one. It's tough because he, it is overshadowed by his other good variants, but it's not a bad one. I, I think this is solidly B. I think just based on the merits of the card, it is definitely an A tier. He's got the cool animation going on with the wings. It's a good pose. Angel does have some other good variants, but we are just ranking the hips here. And I think this is one of his better ones overall. I would go uh, A tier. I'm going to have to agree with Perry on this one. It's an A tier for me. Um, I really, really do like the way that uh, just the way he's framed in this picture. Mm. Also, the like he's shooting off his his dagger wing feathers, which is really, really cool. I just really dig the pose overall. So I'm going to go with A tier for him. Next up, we have Angela. What are we thinking, Nick? I think it's hampered by the framing because the, the it's one that I got and I have the ultimate Angela, so it's not one that I ever thought about running. But I think the issue is... is the, the the card is just too zoomed in but because of that i i i think it has to be around low c high d yep i would say it's definitely in the lower tiers there probably go c it's weird when you look at all the other hips they are mostly like full body shots mm -hmm. of the characters and unless they're like a cloud or something like a life but the fact that it is so zoomed in, I think, does her a bit of a disservice it just looks a little too full and i'm not a huge fan of it see yeah, I'm, I gotta agree. That's the framing that really does it. Which we're only seeing the upper part of her body. I guess this is, we're kind of the same issue with Agent 13. Now that I'm looking at it, it's a similar yeah. thing. I think a C's right. Next up, we have Annihilus. Nick, go ahead. What are you thinking of Annihilus? I think he is an okay card, but I think he is boistered by his animation. The animation around the 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 chains the the electricity going between his hands and and just his entire face really really good not my favorite because you don't really get to see much of him you just get to see him straight on yeah i like him i think he is probably a tier as well again not the human they the, his designs go pretty well with these these insect and animal monster looking cards and yeah animation pretty solid i'd go a tier for me it's an s tier but i will acquiesce oh. Uh, this is my favorite of the Annihiluses really? in the game. Yeah. No, this is the one I usually run with for Annihilus. Okay. I, I just really, really liked the, the design, but that's just me. Like, the, I don't know. Part of it's the colors. The colors are so good and contrasting. The background, the purples, the greens, and I just really love what he looks like all together. So uh, I'm okay with putting him in A, but for me, he's an S tier. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I I'm on board with A because I, I don't think he's good enough to be. If he was a full body, I think he'd be fine. But yeah, I think A is good. All right. Up next, we have everybody's favorite man slash ant, ant man. So I, I know everybody loves this variant. I'm not a big fan. I don't know what is about it. I think for me, this is solidly maybe high C at the very most. I know I'm probably going to get talked out of it, but. That's kind of where I see. I was expecting to talk you into it because I don't like this one either. I uh, am not a huge fan of this variant. He looks a little thick for Ant-Man. No, no body shaming or anything, but I don't know. He's a little blocky. I don't like him. C tier. For me, I think it was a B. Like, I, it's a solid B. I like the color combos, but it could be better. Definitely. I'll let you guys decide. You think it's C? I would say C. Ant-Man is C. Yell at us in the comments. Apocalypse. What are we thinking for you, Apocalypse, Nick? It's one of the variants that I, I again, I, I actively went and bought because I didn't have an Apocalypse variant, but the more I used it, the less I liked it. It's Apocalypse is supposed to be scary. He's supposed to be intimidating, and I think he sort of fits low B, maybe. How dare you talk about my king of discard that way? That is an A tier, sir. He's great. He's colorful. He stands out from the background, the smoke and everything behind him. He's, it's a Dan Hip, but they're not supposed to be menacing. They're adorable. Look at Oliath. He's not menacing. He's adorable. I feel like Apox right in that same category. Not quite S tier, but an A for the king of discard. I would personally put him at like a B tier myself. I do like a lot of it, the framing and everything. He's got some gigantic looking feet. It's kind of giving, like, uh, the crimson chin from the Fairly Odd Parents a little bit. And, and this mean, is where I show my age. Nick's never seen Fairly Odd Parents before. He's he's thinking it, Fairy Godmother. I have Cinderella. seen it, but I've not actively watched it. But I I would be fine. We I, I will acquiesce. B. We agree. B, B at least. 
I'm not happy about it, but I'll settle for B. Okay, we can we can figure out where he is in B later. Next up, we have armor. What are we thinking about armor, Nick? Easy S tier. This is one of my favorite variants in the game. I have an inked red Kirby set on her, and she's perfect. She's she's happy. She the animation. She bounces in the armor. S tier. Easy S. I don't like it. <laughs> oh no! Um, I don't know why. It's cute. We lost Nick. Where, where, where do you think? Where do you put her? I, I mean, I know everyone loves this one, and I feel bad for being that guy, but I genuinely just don't really like it. I don't know why. It is cute, but is it because it's too much armor and not enough of the girl? I, I don't even know the girl's name. I can't tell you the first thing about. Well, there armor. you go. I discovered her through <laughs> this game, so we maybe don't. It's just. It's all about the armor if we don't know her name. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet. You guys can take this one. I, this is an S tier for me. Okay. It's right. an S tier. I love... We can still be friends. This is like one of my favorite Dan Hips in the game, easily. Just the giant goobery armor and the colors. It's perfection. Next up, we have everybody's favorite TV angry face, Arnim Zola. I will say, again, outside of the pixel, this is probably my favorite Arnim variant. I love the animation. The The TV has the like interlaced lines on it. It is easy S tier. Right, I, just, gotta, I gotta cut you off there. What do you mean pixel? Outside of the pixel variant for yeah. Zola. That pixel is terrible. Variant of Zola. I have that there are, the Kirby. Do you not have the it combo is, break variant? Do you not have the Game Boy variant for Zola? I do. Yes. You think both, you think pixels better than both of those masterpieces? Yes, yes I do. Wild. And I will, you absolutely I will die wild. on that hill. You, it's you're so wild. terrible. It's perfect. Thank Hopefully we're not doing a pixel tier list right now because yeah. that'd be a whole separate story. But yes, Dan Hibzola, definitely great. A tier, borderline S tier. I love the purple and green is just a great combo in my opinion. Same kind of thing going on with Annihilus. Just a good color combination. And the screen effect on the face, it's perfect. Hi A. I think uh, I'll put him in A. A feels right for him. You guys hit all the same things. The green background with purple and orange, good combo. You think it would be better if there was more of a full body shot or do you like the way that it is framed right now? I don't think I want to see those feet. Okay. Yeah, I think this is one of the rare ones where him being big and taking up most of the frame just kind of works. You don't really need to see the feet there. The, the focus is on the face and the, and the big body. Okay, we got Zola. Next up, we have everybody's new favorite destroy card, Atuma. What are we thinking about Atuma, Nick? I think it's a great one. This is a solid A. It's, again, non-human. It's the feet. I, I've never really paid attention to this, but the feet are a little on the strange side, but at least they're not live field feet. I, I think a solid high B, mid A. Yep, I'm with you. I think mid B is fine for Atuma. I like the big old sword. Uh, good colors, good composition. Nothing too crazy. Good B tier. Yeah, I think I'm with you guys like low a high b so are we thinking b up in here why don't we put him in b and we can move him up later okay and we're gonna go uh, over at the end and we'll figure out where they fit within all these so maybe for the b's we could switch up the order a little bit if you want us to lead us off gregor sure i like that honestly baron mordo's kind of weak overall he's just a floaty guy colors are cool but for me he's like maybe a b high c low b tier your thoughts barry yeah i think baron mordo is pretty mid i would say more on the low c side there's just nothing special going on i know i just said green and purple good combination but <laughs> it's not working for me so much in this one uh and yeah he's just he's just kind of lame lame card although has some promise but elf feet just no i can't uh, there needs to be little bells on his shoes and he needs to go 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 talk to santa that's fine it's kind of giving that wizard good. spongebob the, the the meme of spongebob just hanging from the ceiling it's giving that a yes. little bit so we'll uh I, I totally get that reference there we go okay we're good we can be friends again um um, Bast. This one is kind of weak for me. I know it's not a uh, human, but it's just like, oh, it's a panther with finger claws and a big head and it's pouncing. So for me, it's like maybe a low B, high C. See, I thought, again, I was going to be in the minority on this one because I feel like this is one of the more beloved hips out there. And I think for me, it's the lack of a the hind legs. You yep. only see the front two. And if you don't know what the card is or the character, it's just like, what is this? It almost looks like the uh, Ecom Bokum guy from Crash Bandicoot. I forget his name. The little floating mask that follows you around. They go, like, <laughs> and uh, I was thinking Ecom Bokum. That's Banjo-Kazooie. Different offensive stereotype. 
prototypes. But anyway, uh, yeah, it just kind of looks like a floating head with arms attached to it. But you're, it's, it doesn't really scream Panther unless you know the character. Outside of... I was just going to say that everybody's fine to cancel Perry in the comments if you would like to. But go ahead, Nick. Bring it. I, I'm, I'm going to cancel Perry as well because this is another one of my favorites. Outside of the uh, Fiona uh, Bass, this is probably one of the best Bass in the game. I could, I could go for B. I really do like this bass, but I, I, I could go for B or C. You guys choose. I will I will acquiesce, but just know that I think she's an A. For me, it's maybe a high C. I'm with you on that one. And if Nick's going to be a Canadian about it, then that's where we're going to put him. In the <laughs> here. He ain't going to fight for his cards, then we're just going to take over here. Uh, Next up, we have Beast. I really, really like the Beast card, if I'm being honest with you. I like the pose. I like how much he's taking up space. I like his leg position. This is a good-looking Beast for me. So this is probably low A tier. I I would go ass honestly i think this is a really? great beast i love the pose the colors just the simple blue and yellow and it just works it's it's just s to me i i was gonna select more in the b range there's something about the the unibrow and the the nose that kind of take me off but i i know it's not bad so i will i will i will go with b low a if everyone's okay with that see i went something i didn't even believe in just to see if you would challenge me on it i don't <laughs> think it's that great but you just acquiesced immediately i played you like a fiddle that's a b it's fine there's nothing special about it but you didn't even challenge me you just let me have it we think it high I was saying low A. High B then? Would we agree on that? Yeah, that works for me. Okay. I'm going to walk all over you, Nick. This is my yeah, really. list now. There's going to be, I'm going to get to one and there's going to be a fight for it. And I promise you that. I, I okay. think I know what it might be as well. Okay. All right. We'll get there. Next Maybe up, we got, video. we got Beta Ray Bill. So Beta Ray Bill, I don't know. I think this is probably an A tier. There's a lot going on with it. I like the pose we're looking up as he's striking down upon us. Like, looks pretty cool. Um, The only thing, it's kind of blocky. That's really my only gripe against it. Uh, Perry, what do you think? He's definitely blocky. He's got kind of the similar thing going on with Ant-Man, but I think it makes more sense with Beta Ray because he's supposed to be just a bigger character. Yeah. I think it's a little too busy. There's a lot of colors going on there. Um, I would say it might be more of a B than an A, but I think I am good with either. Nick? I definitely a low B. The the skeleton teeth kind of kind of creep me out a smidgen. But everything else is fine. Like the colors I think are really good. The design of the character itself, again, it's a non-human, so I think that that helps. The lightning strike animates really nicely. So I I would be willing to go for a B even though I probably be more along the C line. We'll say yeah, okay. We'll put him in B. Um next up we got Bishop. This one for me is kind of weak. He's so blocky like so big gun is gigantic probably a c for me yeah i know we're trying to just focus on the hips themselves but bishop has so many good variants like he's got a ton of good variants and i don't think this one is really one of them uh i i, I like the gun being big just like colson but i don't know nick what do you think about him i absolutely love this one this one is easy a tier for me i think the animation is great the colors are great the, the expression is great he really just gives this vibe vibe of I'm imposing and I think a lot of the other bishops do but I think considering Dan Hip's style this one is a surprising you know just pop of color like that fist animates real nice like that looks real real good so where are we landing on it low b high c nick I, 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 I want it low b i think he deserves to be low b he's bishop at, at least give him that all right give him that he's a b for bishop. we got we got nick to fight for something that. we got nick to fight for something all right Stand next up, up beliefs. we got black bolt uh black bolt i don't know he looks scared <laughs> he looks scared and like <laughs> It doesn't look like he's about to scream and destroy a bunch of stuff. It looks like he's falling and he is scared. I don't know why they went like so bird heavy on him here. I feel like that's not really his costume. Right. And and he just kind of made him a bird. Yeah. And I don't really know why. Like, am I missing something with Black Bolt lore? Or is that one of his older costumes or something? I can't I can't say I know much about Black Bolt, but in all the other variants, he doesn't look anything like that. So why do they make him a bird? Not that I have complaints about birds, but it's just a weird decision choice. Yeah, I, choice. I'm I'm very similar in, in thoughts with this. I I'm I'm thinking Losi at the 
could be higher. I'm it also... feels like to me, Dan Hip was like, oh, he's like Falcon. I'm yeah. just going to make him a bird. I, I don't know. Go ahead. Roast me if I'm missing some key piece of Black Bolt lore. But All I, I know is he's like one of the leaders of the Inhumans. He's married to Medusa. And I, I've never seen him with wings. Like, I know that he can destroy massive things with his voice when he speaks, which is why he can't speak. But why does, what does that have to do with birds? So I'm going to say low C. Okay. Like, maybe he was listening to Nelly Furtado when he drew this. I don't know. He's all, he always flies away. Except we have Black Cat. I actually really like this one. I like the pose. Yeah, this is a newer, newer release too, right? Yeah, I would say this is probably like in a low A for me. Like, she's flipping through the air. She's being very acrobatic, very Spider-Man-esque because she is like a Spider-Man character. I would say low A. Yeah, I don't disagree. Uh, it's one of the more unique poses for the Dan Hip cards. A lot of them tend to have kind of a similar pose where it's just like arms out. But the fact that she's doing something pretty unique and going into that like infiltration, Mission Impossible, breaking and entering kind of pose, I like it. Same. I am impressed that because there are some iffy Black Hat variants, but this one, yeah, the, the breaking through the glass and the glass shattering and the gems and all of that animated, I'm 100% on board. So I think solid A. Low A? Yeah, I think we could somewhere in A. Okay, next up we have Black Knight. Black Knight, this one I like a lot. It, it looks like he's in combat. He's fighting something. It looks like he's been through it. I would say high B, low A, personally. See, I like Black Knight, but he has the same problem that some of the other Black Knight variants has. It's like the sword perspective is just weird. Yeah. He's like, he's got a two-handed sword, but it's not really long enough to be a two-handed sword. And it's super thick and... I don't know. It's just, it it bugs me for some reason. Even his, like, ultimate variant, or not the ultimate variant, but the cool-looking one that was the spotlight variant. I forget the artist. But he's got the same kind of problem where the sword proportions are just all over the place. I don't know. I think it's more of a B. I mean, B for Black Knight works for me. The sword, yeah, it's it's like the handle is almost as big as the sword itself. It seems like there is a, a ratio of disparity there. And he just looks like he needs more fiber. Like, he just looks like he's having a rough time right now. And he's got a pocket knife sword. It's cool. Next up, we have Black Panther. This one's pretty cool, I think. Like, I would say high B. Yeah. I never really liked this one, to no. be honest with you. I was thinking, like, low C, if not D. I don't know what it is. He, he's, like, kind of too small in the frame, and I feel like the next card we talk about is going to have the same kind of problem. Like, there's a delicate balance to taking up too much space and not taking up enough space, and I feel like he's just too tiny for Black Panther. He should have more of a presence. How does it feel being so wrong about this? Like, this is top tier. The animation is great. The this I this is the card that I had my first uh crackle split on as well. And it's what kind of changed my opinion. I wasn't a huge fan of a lot of the hips before that. And this one came in and I was like a hundred percent on board. Like this one to me is is amazing. I would have put this I, I don't think it's S tier, but I don't think it's below I would put it in low A, in my opinion, but at the same time, I know I'm overruled here, so I wouldn't accept anything lower than a high C. I, what, you're, you're giving too much. Like, I said B. We can find middle okay. ground here. You said A. Perry says C. So I can say <laughs> maybe mid B here. I think, right, that's, I'm fine with that. I think that's a fair middle ground. You gotta, Nick, I need you to stick up for yourself a little bit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to bully Nick this whole episode, and then next episode, yeah. Nick's going to come out and be like, I'm not standing for anything less than S tier on all of my picks. Exactly. I need, yeah, we'll I need you to... Monster. I think Black Widow's a D. I'm just going to say that right now. The She's too small in frame. She kind of... Her hair blends in with the background colors. I don't even... I can't even tell what she's holding in her other hand. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a D for me. I'm with you. No notes. See, I, I wouldn't go any lower than a C. I, I actually think like her facial features are really interesting. They stand out. I agree it's hampered by the framing, but I think I think putting her any lower than a C is just wrong. I think this one's good. The animation's nice about it. I do agree with the points, and I don't think that's why she should go higher than a C, but I think I think she definitely fits a C. I'll give her like, again, you have to think, considering that the you know non humans are his best stuff, this one's pretty darn good for a human. I don't, I don't agree. I, I disagree. I, I got to disagree yeah. on this one, Nick. I think it's, I, I'll give you a high D. I'll give you a high D here. All right. It's better than D, man. That's fine. Blade for me. Now nah, we're talking. I think this is an A. Yeah. I think this is an A tier card. That's like the man's right there. The framing is perfect. He's holding a giant stake. He's, he has a blade in his other hand. This is, this is blade. 
Uh, Best blade. That is a perfect animation, like just that style. He looks perfect in Dan Hip style. He's got a bit of a cartoony edge to him. Sunglasses are great. Definitely agree with the A tier. And see, I would have given more along the B line. I think that it's hampered by the cape kind of blocking his lower body. It, it, it makes it a little bit unwieldy as far as where things go. But at the same time, it's also Wesley Snipes' blade. So, I, and it's blade. I mean, are you going to give any blade variant anything lower than than that? Like, you can't. Pixel. You, you're very biased there. You you have you have a clear bias. But I, I'm on board. I think it's really good. Let's go. We'll we'll go with A tier here. Uh, next up, we have Blob. I love this Blob variant. For me, it's an S or an A. Um, he's just a giant roly poly guy. Like he could looks like he's about to do. Like, turn Sonic the Hedgehog mode and just roll all over you. And I love that. See, I, th I was thinking more like Miltank from Pokemon. Yeah, use this rollout. Just doing the rollout. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. We're on the same page. That's, that's where I was thinking. Uh, the, the big, chunky art style works very well with Dan Hip here. I do think that's, a, if not an S, it's a high A. 100% agreed. I, I Especially considering the other, other than the Hellfire which I'm still mad I didn't get. Other than that variant of Blob, this is the best Blob variant that's out there, I think. Yep. I use the Luchador one, but this one is just so good. And it it doesn't represent the Blob as, you know, as uncomfortable as some of his other appearances may be. Yep. He's just, you know, he's an angry big guy. Classic costume, too. Yeah, he, it's his X-Men, like the uh, Brotherhood of Mutants one. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love that Dan Hip tends to do, like, the classic, like, their first appearance kind of looks. But, uh, see, Barry, the fact that you said Miltake rollout, I thought I would lose people with that, which is why I went with, like, Sonic. The fact that you mm -hmm. went there, I love that. Um, oh, if they're lost, then they're lost. Like, I, you know, you can't save everybody. That's a, it's, if you don't get the reference, you don't get the reference. Okay, next up, we got Blue Marvel. I like this one, personally. I think it's a B or A tier, somewhere in there. This is the definition of B tier to me. This is like the standard of if I'm going to look at the other Dan Hips, is it better than Blue Marvel? I feel like he's the the median. Like I feel like he's one of the earliest Dan Hips. He's one of the earliest cards you get in the game. Just very standard. Nothing special. Nothing bad. B tier. Agreed. It's it's one of the the uh, Marvel variants that I've been rocking with for a long time, just because it's it's better than a lot of them. But it it's not it's not one that I'm excited about. And then in the way I am with others. All right, so we're thinking B then for Blue Marvel. I think low B. Okay, Do you agree? Yeah, have middle ground. All right, next up. Mid B, next up, fine. we have Brood. I'm not a huge fan of this Brood. Like, I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like a Xenomorph to me a little bit. Um, I can't tell exactly what's going on. Like, how many arms it has. And I lose. Like, I would like to be able to see its entire body more than anything. It's just the head. It's the same issue that Bast has. I, I think this would probably be a B or a C for me. I'm with you. Definitely similar in essence to the Bast. Uh, one of the rare misses on the non-humanoid hips for me. Just a little, I don't know. It's missing something. I can't quite say what it is. I do like that, like, the background, you can kind of see another set of eyes coming in. So it shows, like, there's more than one brood. So it does get a little bonus points for that. I would say that keeps it out of the C tier. I th I, th I I can agree. I really like the shading of it. Like that's one of the things that really stands out about this. There's a lot of depth to it. You know, the shading on the the head and the shoulders, and then the low legs, and that background is really good. Problem is when you frame break it. Bye bye background. Yeah. Hey, I think C. We're we're in the C category. Okay. And then last up, we have a card that hasn't actually released yet. Bullseye. I like it. It's kind of giving Joker a little bit with the uh, expression and the cards and jumping there. The only complaint I have about it is I think it could be framed a little bit better. So probably like a high B for me, maybe low A. It's, it's, I was going more towards C. It's cool that it's, you know, a little more personality in the face and stuff. He's, he's looking villainous, but it's just the same old Dan hip pose middle arms out jumping kind of thing. And I feel like that's, that's a lot of what the mid tier ones have in common just nothing too unique about it uh, same page uh, and the, the eyes are something that kind of not being able to fully see them i think it, it detracts from what would be a bit better and then what's what's he breaking through i don't see anything that he's breaking through i just see like shattered stuff so I, unlike 
like black hat where you know that she's broken through a window like i think that it's a little too nebulous i would go see there's almost like nothing that shows that it's bullseye like why is he breaking through a window is he doing a robbery or something like there's nothing unique about his character in there the only thing that identifies it is his actual bullseye on the head Mm. right like he's got no gun or thing he's throwing or like i get it i see he's got the cards and the knife and stuff but they should be in action using them yeah okay let's go with c okay so with we've finished these are all of the characters within a through b where do we think should things be moved around here i like the s tier i think it's fine even if i don't agree with the armor but i understand why it's s tier I don't think there should be too many in S tier either. I feel like that should be reserved for the cream of the crop. And I think those are definitely cream of the crop. Those might be making their case for some of the best in the final tier list overall. Yep. So I think I'm good with that. I think the bottom tier is fine as well. There aren't too many like repulsive hips. So I think we did a good job with that. And then the mid is, yeah. You could definitely move some here and there, but I think generally it's pretty solid. I mean, the question that I have, though, is does Agatha move up? Like, is Agatha worse than the Blob variant? And I don't know if she is. Like, if I look at variants that I'm excited about, again, it's it's the cat's eyes that really stand out. And she does have a really interesting, imposing, like, pose to her. You want to move Agatha up to S tier? I feel like Nick just wants to give some love to Agatha because she's the closest in age to him on the board. (laughs) Hey, now. You're You're an all-star. Hey, that's rude. (laughs) This is elder abuse is what this is. I mean, you're going to, I was already canceled earlier, so I might as well just go in. (laughs) Just giving up. What's, what's the next thing? So you want Agatha to go to S tier? I'm okay with that. I think that's fine. I think Agatha could be an S tier. It's good. The cat really does the heavy lifting. Yeah, the cat sells it for sure. Yeah, I think, uh, what do you all think in the replies? Tell us what we got right and what we missed in here. Tell Perry how wrong he is about the cards that he's wrong about, please. Yeah, let me know. Let me have it. I can take it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first part. We only got through B, so we have a lot more Dan Hip tier list to go over. Once I get back from TwitchCon, I want to do more of these with Nick and Perry. We're going to keep it going. And then at the very end, we're going to do a final, like all of the ones that we consider like A or S tier. We will break them down and put them into their own tier list and go through all of that. So thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, it's super appreciated. I will probably not see you until next week. I will be away at TwitchCon. So remember to take care of yourself. Remember to eat food, drink water, take your meds, get enough sleep. And remember the world's better with you in it. Until next time, I will catch you all later.